welcome to Hope Lives Here. This is Apostle Dolores Kendrick again coming to you and just, uh, well, wishing you a very happy new year. I trust you had a beautiful Christmas and you have just uh, been enjoying some rest during this time. And um, well, we're here 2024. Can you believe it? We have come into this new year and it's just so much going on. So much happening today. I know I live here in, for those of you that might be looking for the first time, um, on uh, Hope Lives Here. I live in the uh, uh, Washington State area, not Washington, D.C., but Washington State in the Pacific Northwest. And a lot has been going on here. Things that we never, uh, you know, would have thought. And I just want to say to... Um, 2024 will have, just to give you just some brief uh, things that I'll be talking about a little later on, but there will be some things that will be taking place. You might well say that it might be the unexpected, and uh, <clears throat> because in this year of 2024, we will, uh, 24 is eights, three eights are equal 24, eight times three is 24. So there's new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings that will come together in a burst of unusual things taking place. Now, you say that, um, yes, there's already been unusual things taking place, but now there's uh, the Lord has uncovered. It's like the Lord has just released a scroll and just uncovered it. So there will be, I talked to you before, months ago, about exposure, exposure coming. And some of the things that if you're not anchored, and I want you to hear me today, if you're not anchored in Christ, on Christ the solid rock I stand, and all other ground is sinking sand. In this era that we're living we see people that have begun to get idols and idols of in the entertainment world, idols in uh, of their uh, money becoming their idol and their whole concern of getting ahead and making money. And they call that prosperity. That is not what the Bible speaks of as prosperity. He said, I wish above all things that you would prosper in your health you know, physically, in your soul, and also in your spirit. So we know that that's just a part of prosperity. Uh, wealth, wealth is different than just riches. So we have become, uh, in this hour, we're living in idol worshipers of things, even ourselves and even other people. And this exposure that is coming in a great way in 2024, as I said before, you must keep your eyes on the Lord. I've spoken to you in the past concerning false prophets, where people are following um, a lot of prophets, young prophets that have no covering, have no wisdom, have no one that they're accountable to. And so because of it, you're seeing almost just ridiculous things that are happening, yet people are following it. Why do people follow this so? They follow it because they want answers. They want the supernatural. They are looking for miracles, and they will, they will run after it, you know. But I want you to know that miracles, uh, this is something that should really be the norm for the believer. It's not something that you have to run after and seek after. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things, including miracles, will be given, will be granted unto you. So he also says that uh, you uh, do not have any idols before me. Uh, he told Israel, you shall worship only one God. And so we have put people up on a pedestal and people have allowed themselves to be put upon pedestals. Uh, money 
has uh, led a lot of people and governed a lot of people's lives. And because of it, there is a breaking down. Now, when the pandemic hit, you saw a lot of exposure. You found out that there was a lot of, um, I hate to say it, but truth is truth. You found out that many leaders, uh, they weren't what they claimed to be. You found out that there was a lot of um, racists. There was a lot of prejudices. There was a lot of hate, uh, even in leaders. We This was revealed not just during the pandemic, but of many of the things that happened when crime just was leached out over the United States. And so our eyes were open to that. But this is not the end of the exposure. God said that he's going to bring down everything that's not of him. We're living people, whether you realize it or not, in the last days. Now, I wish I could just give you just an exciting uh, uh, uh sharing uh, and hope to you that, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get a new house. I'm going to get a new car. Oh, I'm going to prosper. I'm going to have, but you will. Many of these things will happen. They will happen, but at the same time, there will be a breaking, a shaking. Yes, we have been shipped, but we have not been shipped like we will be. And so we will see things that if your eyes are not upon the Lord, that you will be shaken and many will turn away from, uh, you might say, the truth. But I believe that if you are looking to man or looking at a thing, you weren't walking in truth anyway. So um, you, will, you will find that these things will come down. God is allowing it because the Holy Spirit is doing the shaking to bring us to our knees, to bring us to a place of humility, to bring us to a place where God can use us, where he can penetrate within us and be Lord over us and lead us because there's a world out here that needs saving. Um, in October, T.O.P., you went into a time of fasting, and we fasted on up until December. Now, that fast was from uh, the Psalms, created me a clean heart, and renew a right, renew a right spirit within me. And this was done that we could come into 2024 with a clean heart, with a right spirit. And um, wash me, wash me with hyssop that I will be whiter than snow. This was the cry of the fasting. This was the whole purpose of the fasting. And this is what we were believing God for. God wanted you to come into a place of such cleanliness and holiness that when these things begin to happen that we're going to see take place in the year 24 and 25, uh, you will not be shaken. You will not be shaken because you're anchored in the Lord. And so I am not going to be long. This is going to be a very short Hope Lives Here, but I wanted you to uh, know that when things happen, don't get crazy. Don't get on the phone and be running and talking about, did you know this? Did you see this? Did you hear this? Don't do that. But go to God. Go to God and bow your spirit to the Lord and say, Lord, keep me. Keep my eyes upon the rock. Keep my eyes upon you. Let my eyes remain on you because of the things that will take place in 2024. Now, also, I want to deal on the other side of the coin, so to speak, the exposure. Many will be exposed to wealth. Many will be exposed to new ideas and new uh, dreams coming forth, new things happening in triple and triple newness taking place in your life. Uh, there will be new jobs, 
There'll be promotions that will take place that seem like it's impossible for it to be because of a time that we're living in where prices are increasing and things are getting more uh, expensive and all. The children of God that have kept their eyes on God because famine has nothing to do with God. Uh, shortages has nothing to do with God. But he is a God of plenty, and he is not held back from blessing you because of the economy. I want you to realize this. So therefore, you will see an exposure of things that will happen. Your eyesight will behold new things that you can flow into that will be a blessing to you. Your eyes also will be open to new revelations that will take place. Revelation through the word of God. God's going to touch the eyes of those that are desirous of him. And he'll begin to show you uh, things and visions and dreams. I'm not talking about hamburger dreams. I'm not talking about uh, you know, barbecue and, and, and uh, visions. I'm talking about true dreams as you have sought the Lord and he will begin to reveal to you the hidden things in the scripture that will cause you to be able to walk a more uh, straight walk that will cause you to be able to touch lives. I feel that there's going to be a greater anointing that's going to come upon those with the spiritual gifts that you will be able to speak of uh, what thus saith the Lord. You'll be able to speak in wisdom, wisdom knowing what to do with what God is giving you, the new things that God is allowing you to walk into. You will have the wisdom to know when, how, and where. In other words, I will know when to speak and I will know when to be quiet. I will know who to speak to and who not to speak to. And I will know where, where do I move in this and where I do not. Uh, there will be those that will, uh, the, the church we realize today is changing. There's been a shifting. There's been a total just uh, transition of the church and it will continue to be. Uh, a shifting and a transition that will take place. We sometimes uh, call out things to be for the year, and at the end of the year, that's over. No, not so. Some things are just going to keep moving and escalating even in a greater way. So I say to you uh, in this new year, happy new year, trust the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding, hallelujah, and know beyond a shadow of a doubt the Father will direct your pathway through the power of the Holy Spirit. Stay close to him. And again, do not be moved by what you see, but be moved by the Holy Spirit of a living God. God bless you.